Brett, I got to do a run in here. We got a call and this is kind of unbelievable. You know him. I mean, if you're a wrestling fan, this is like the biggest, one of the brain biggest wrestling. Surgeon. It's a, he's also a brain surgeon. You know him from uh, ECW. He's a former NWA world champion, king of the death match. Oh my God. The list goes on and on. We're on with, he's on, he's in legitimately every wrestling hall of fame that matters. The one, the only Terry Funk. Terry, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Terry, it's so thanks for joining us on uh, WFMU Wrestling Club. It's such an honor to have you here. And you were the best in the world. You were one of the best. You were one of the biggest uh, stars in Japan at that point. I mean, you were had been NWA champion. You were in Florida, Georgia, Texas. Um, you know, and you came in with your brother. And, it, and this is very Vince McMahon, right? Like, he, he brings in the funk Well, no, I, I didn't need Vince McMahon. Right. No, absolutely. Vince McMahon needed you. I didn't need the but I didn't need the National Wrestling Alliance. Right. At that point, you did. I right. didn't need uh, the whole thing was, was I spent the latter part of my career and the better part of my career in Japan. Absolutely. And you were one of the, I mean, you were, the, correct me if I'm wrong, but you were the first American, the first uh a gaijin, as they say in Japan, to be a babyface, to be a huge fan favorite. I don't know, but people like me, <laughs> and uh, and I like them. I know that for a fact. And in fact, the people love me, and I love them. They do. I found them to be uh, a wonderful bunch, do and you... uh, they seem to think guys a pretty good guy too. So. Uh, we kind of hit it all together. You ask me how, I don't know. But there's, the tapes were, um, were, you know, the tapes from Japan still exist. So you can see your brother, you can see you in the 70s having these incredible matches. I've seen, I mean, your brother, I mean, you guys wrestled for Giant Baba, right? Yes. And I've seen him wrestle Giant Baba. And we were at war over there. Right. And it was a hell of a war, right? Between Anoki and Baba. Now, did you ever Old Japan and New Japan? Did you ever work for Anoki? Why hell no? He, he <laughs> was the opposition, right? Um, he didn't good. appear. I'd like to. Here. I'd like to have. Uh, I don't know. Maybe taken a little leak on him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I mean, we support that. I mean, Antonio Inoki, he's kind of, I don't know. He always kind of, he's a weird guy to me. Cause you know, he's got that weird thing where he loves like, you know, they went to North Korea and he's like hanging out with Saddam Hussein. Like he's a weird guy to me. And like, he was like very, I feel like giant Baba. And I mean, I'm just a fan of course, but I feel like Baba cared for his wrestlers in a way. And like, he made all these stars where Anoki Very seemed much so. where Anoki seemed more Very like a much so. where Anoki felt more like a Hulk Hogan, where he, he wanted to be the biggest star and damn everybody else. That's exactly right. Um, was Anoki or was was Baba the best promoter you had worked with? Giant well, uh, his, uh, of course he was, and I say that so quickly because. Well, who's the best promoter? Is the one that paid you the most. <laughs> right. right. And I'm, like I I know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, spoken like a true wrestling legend. The Wrestling Club with Darren and Brett. We've got a show that you'll never forget. forget, forget.